Hey guys, good morning. I know I look a little rough. Um, I just got up like 30, 45 minutes ago, drank a cup of coffee and had some oatmeal. And today I have to go to work for Patagonia. So I'm doing the fit modeling again today that I've told you guys about. So I thought it would be fun to sit down with you and show you like a little bit of my makeup routine that I do whenever I go. So I do have to wear a mask. So I don't do a full face, but I just like to put a little something something on. So I figured I would do that with you guys today. So I just washed my face as well. It's like super dry. I put some like, I use the Ulta tanning cloths, I guess. They're like little pads that come in like a little container that you unscrew and you can wipe all over your face at night. They're so good. I was scared that they were going to be blotchy, like make my tan look blotchy but they don't like they're so good but anyway so I used that last night and then I just washed my face so now I'm going to be using the Origins Ginseng SPF 40 this is the energy boosting tinted moisturizer and also has SPF of 40 I have a like foundation first impression and review on this I'll link in my description box if you want to check it out but I used this after I applied my regular moisturizer and I feel like it got a little splotchy so I decided today I would sit down and I would try it with like a bare dry face so that's what I'm going to be doing but I also haven't tried this when I have a tan so I don't know the last time I tried this I was pretty pale so I don't know it's supposed to match your skin tone I don't know it's like sor sorcery sorcery <laughs> But I'm going to start off like this much. And I like to rub it in with my fingers. But I'm curious how well it's going to match. Me with a tan. This could be a disaster. We'll see. It's crazy too because like <clears throat> I've been working with them since I think. My casting was in January and I started working with them like shortly after. I've only, I've never seen the two women that I work with, like every time I go, I've never seen them without a mask. So I have like no idea what they look like. So I have to like, I've like made up a face in my mind. <laughs> um, they kind of know what I look like because they saw my comp card, but like... Those are different than like real life, you know, like obviously I still look like that, but seeing people in real life is like way different than just seeing them in pictures, you know? So when I go, I, like I said, I work with one lady all the time and she's there every time I go. And then the second lady that will be, she kind of, that shows up sometimes like, She's pretty consistent, but it's always swapped with somebody different, it seems like. But I always have one that's, like, always there every time I go. Um, and then, so she was telling me before COVID, all of the seamstress and the entire fit team would be in this room that I'm in now. And they would just line the wall and then the fit model would come out wearing the pieces, you know, whatever. And everybody would take notes, ask questions, like, da-da-da-da-da. So now, with all the restrictions... There's only three people allowed in the room, and we zoom in everybody else. So I literally, I put it on, I come out, <clears throat> and then I zoom with like one, two, three, four people, and they're all staring at me. So I know what they look like, but I don't think they know what I look like because I don't think they casted me. I think the only people that know what I look like are the people that casted me. Um, so I know what they look like. They don't necessarily know what I look like, and yeah, they were thinking about lifting some of the mask restrictions in September, but then everything started changing. So, uh, I don't know how much longer I'm gonna have to go without knowing what anybody looks like or knowing what I look like, and I've gotten to the point where I just memorize everybody by their, like, body shapes and their hair. <laughs> so, like, by the time we could take our masks off, hopefully sooner than later, um, I'm gonna have to it's going to be weird because you know when you don't know what somebody looks like and you just make up a face in your brain. So it's going to be weird when I finally see them because you know whatever I think is probably not what they look like because I have no idea. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to like relearn everybody it seems like, but it's such a surreal thing, you know. But um, yeah, I like to put on just like a little bit of something. I usually just wear chapstick on my lips because I have to wear a mask. But I figured today we could use like a colored mascara for something fun. But I wanted to 
see. It doesn't really look like it picked up on my tan too much, but it did even out my skin tone. So I wonder... I wonder if it'll get darker, but I wanted to see if it got a little blotchy or anything. Okay, it looks a little weird in my brows. But no, I actually think it went on better with like complete dry skin than it does when I put on like regular skincare and then go in with this. So I'll probably forever just use it on a blank face, I guess. It did kind of stick to my dry patches. Let me know if you guys use tinted moisturizers and if you do your normal skincare and then go in with it. Or do you use the tinted moisturizer as your moisturizer like I just did? I'm just curious. Like, I think if I had oily skin, it would be fine. But because I have dry skin, I feel like I need, like, some more, um, some more moisture underneath. So I'm just going to go in with my Becca, um, under eye brightening corrector. I've been using this sparingly because I sound like a broken record at this point. But once it's gone, it's gone and it's never coming back. So, but... Thankfully, a little bit goes a long way, so that's a plus. There. That's about all I use. See how brightening that is? It's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna do my brows. You know, I found this the other day, this Anastasia brow book, so let's use that. I usually don't use my dip brow pomade because since I'm not really wearing a lot of makeup, whenever I use the dip brow pomade that I use in like all my videos, <clears throat> I feel like it's too harsh for like this light of makeup. So I like to use a brow powder. So I'm going to use like a combination of these guys, probably the entire top row. So that's, is it focusing? So I'm going to use the entire top row basically. So that's blonde, taupe, and soft brown. Let's bring back memories. <laughs> And then I'm going to start off with this brush first. This is one of my favorite eyebrow brushes. This is Morphe E11. I'm going to start off with a mixture of soft browns. I usually do the middle to the tail first. So, see, it's just like, I feel like it's just a more natural look and not as harsh, which is probably like, I should just do this all the time, but... I figured I could bring you guys with me and give you a little sneak peek of like the building and stuff like that. I'm not too sure if I could show you guys the clothes because they haven't launched yet. So I probably won't be able to show you any of that, but I could show you, um, like I said, the area and the building and stuff like that. I don't know, I thought it would be fun. I think that looks okay, I don't need too much. I'm going to go in with taupe to do the center. Kind of doing like... I guess like a gradient with these brow powders. Like an ombre, not gradient. I don't know, is that the same thing? Ombre and gradient. Um, that's what I'm basically doing with these powders. I'm so ready for fall, by the way. Like, <sighs> the only thing I like about summer is I can get a tan. That's legit the only thing that I like. If I could pick, I would definitely pick fall and winter. Um, now I'm going to go in with blonde, which me and Frank are completely opposite. Like, he'll take summer. If he could have summer all year long, he would take it, but like the second it gets like super hot outside, I get like mad. It's, it's like top five pet peeves of mine. Like, heat, like for real. The second I start like sweating unintentionally, I get angry. Um, I know that sounds like super diva-ish. I've always been that way and I'm from Kansas so like the heat there is like the heat and humidity is no joke. So you think you know growing up there I would be just conditioned I guess but no. <laughs> I still hate it. I love fall. I do love winter too to an extent. I mean don't get me wrong the second I love cold weather. Cold weather I'm always in a good mood when it's cold. But then when it's been cold for so long to where it's like freezing, where you're just shaking, you know, then I'm over it. But it takes a minute for me to be ready for warm weather because I just love the cold so much. Ooh, that looks pretty good, right? I need to start using this palette from here on out. And I feel like it took me 
less time to do powder in my brows than it does to use a dip brow. So now I'm going to go in with this Complex Culture. This is the Full Out Brow Gel Tinted Volumizing Brow Gel. This is in the shade Warm Blonde. That's what it looks like. I love this stuff. Like, I would definitely repurchase. It's so good. I like this to kind of give me that fluffy, more thicker brow and then I'll let that set in and then I'll go in with like a clear brow mascara to like make sure they're locked in place. Oh, just have to do my hair. I'm gonna have to fill in my tail over here. I'm going to use this color pop brow pencil in the shade Bang & Brunette, just a little bit because I feel like this brow is sparse. There, I think that's okay. Like I said, I don't want to go too, too harsh, but I just wanted to even them out. Alright, let's do mascara. I dug these guys out last night. I have a blue one, but it's totally dried out. So I have these NYX pastel mascaras. I'm not really sure what color I want. I kind of want to do maybe the coral one because it's not, or pink. Or green. I think I'm going to do the coral one for now. This is the NYX color mascara in the shade um, Coral Reef. And then I figured I could use the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Primer because it's like a white primer, you know? And maybe that would help that show up more. We'll see. So I'm just going to curl my lashes. I figured, you know, since I'm wearing a mask, I can at least do a fun mascara color. Since that's the only thing people are going to see anyways is my eyes, so... Got like super shaky hands today. I don't know why. Maybe the caffeine from the coffee hit me a lot faster than usual, but yeah. Okay, just gonna let that dry. And then usually when I go, so I have to wear jeans. Basically, I've been trying on like all tops. So I haven't really, I've only had to try on pants once and that was months ago. So yeah, I usually wear jeans and sneakers, but on the right there, I wear like an oversized graphic tee and Lululemon um, black biker shorts for the drive. And when I get there, I just change into jeans and then I try on all the tops that they want me to try. So the line that I'm currently trying on is supposed to launch fall of 2022 so I've been trying on like sweaters and like super comfy like just plain solid t-shirts they're so comfy like oh, I love them but that's what I've been trying on every time I go in I've only tried on like pants and stuff once and that was a few months ago so I don't know if I'll be doing that anytime soon but um, yeah, I need to pick out a chest. I'll probably just bring a lip oil. I think my drawer always squeaks. I have the Wander Beauty lip oil, like, in my bag already. So in my bag, I have my time sheets. I have, like, some extra hair ties. I'm supposed to wear my hair, like, in a low bun when I go. I have extra masks. I have my jeans. I have sandals. I have a beanie. I have, um, a jacket. I just have a bunch of like random things in there in case I need to style something or switch out the pants and stuff. So that's what's in my bag. I probably won't have time to show you guys what's in my bag before I leave. I can definitely show you like what I pack um, when I get back. I can show you guys that. Hey, sorry, I just put you guys on pause for a second because I was using my little fan to try to dry these lashes faster. I guess I never realized because whenever I do the lash primer, I'm doing like the rest of my face. I never realized like how long it takes for this stuff to dry. So I'm going in with the coral color. Oh, okay. Like, I didn't want anything, like, too crazy. 
So I think this is like a fun little color. I think I'm just gonna do my top lashes. I don't think I'm gonna do the bottom or anything. So let me show you guys. So this is what it looks like. It's not too crazy, but it's just not. So just picture it like this. That's what it's gonna look like. Yeah, it's not too crazy. Maybe I will put a little bit of black mascara underneath. I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Waterproof Exhibitionist Mascara. Maybe that'll just kind of help balance it out, you know? And of course, I am such a mess when it comes to lower lash mascara. Like, even if I go really slow, I still get it everywhere. <laughs> I gotta wait for that to dry a little bit. Or, I guess I could just do it now. Because it's waterproof, it's usually a little bit harder to get off. underneath there like I thought it would help kind of balance it out but I don't really like it I'm gonna go in on top with this stuff okay yeah I definitely yeah I didn't really like the black like that underneath there I kind of don't like anything underneath there but I don't really want to take it off let's see I always wait for the days that I have to leave the house to try My hair looks crazy because I literally just, I sweated probably the most in the last 10 minutes than I have like all summer. Um, I just had to put on, I think, a t-shirt, three jackets, um, more of like a vinyl jacket, and then like a winter like down feather coat. So I had all of that in here. It's only 79 degrees outside, but we were inside, so it's super hot. I'm sure you guys were probably like, where'd you go? Um, when I was in the middle, sorry, since I was sweating, like my bangs get all crazy. I don't even know if they're like, if I can fix them. Um, yeah, whatever. Anyways, um, my camera overheated and shut off. The Sony A5100 takes the best pictures, has the best quality, like video quality, picture quality, sound quality, like all the above, but like you can only film straight for like 25 minutes and then it overheats and shuts off. So that's like the downside of the camera. Um, but I finished up my makeup and I ended up like, here, let me show you. I don't know how I feel about this coral 
mascara it kind of makes me look high on life and I don't really like that um, but um, I ended up taking like the bottom off because it just didn't look right so this might be the one time I do coral mascara and uh, I think I'll try like the lime green one next time but I just got done working as quick as 45 minutes and um, yeah I tried on all those layers and now I'm getting ready to head back home people driving on the road today is insane like I saw maybe like eight different situations that were like that could have been a car accident that could have been a car accident I don't know what it is today's a crazy Thursday I guess uh, for Southern California but yeah I'm on my way home right before this I inserted some clips of what Patagonia looks like and like the little area that I work in personally and all of that so I hope you guys enjoyed that um, I know it's not super exciting because I can't really bring you guys in there just yet but I will try in the future but anyway so yeah I'm gonna head home it takes me about two hours to get home so it's a while and um, yeah I'll see you guys later I forgot real quick God, these bags you guys um, I wanted to share this lip oil with you I mentioned it this is the Wander Beauty lip retreat oil so this is what it looks like and that's what I'm wearing right now see how glossy it is I do two applications of it and it's so glossy it feels so good, but I have a habit whenever I wear chapsticks or lip oils or any kind of thing, I always go like this. Like, I do that a lot, so it kind of, like, I have to reapply it probably with, like, every hour because that's how bad I do it, especially when I'm driving. I'm like this because I'm bored, you know? But, yeah, I wanted to share that with you because it's really pretty and it feels really nice on the lips. Hey, guys. I feel like I'm, like, serving Grease vibes right now. Like, when they go to the fair at the end of the movie, that's how I feel. But, anyways... I know it's a lot going on here um we're actually getting ready to go to the oc fair we've never been and we've lived in california for 10 years this october every time it happens i'm either in kansas or we just forget but this year i remembered to go so i went ahead and bought us tickets and they're only doing like 75 percent capacity and you have to buy your tickets online tickets are already sold out so i'm hoping that the lines won't be too crazy this is the last day of the fair like i said i think it lasts a month so yeah i'm super excited harley's never been so her and i are wearing like i'm wearing this romper and then she has a dress that is like this gingham thing but it's like four different shades of gingham but it has like orange in it so i wanted her to match and then i just told frank and jane to wear like white shirts and some pants so that way i can bring my tripod and we can take some family pictures but i cannot wait because like i love the fair i love theme parks like i love all that stuff and harley's never been so i'm hoping that she'll just like have a blast they're supposed to have like um quite a few like kitty rides if anything if all else fails i figured we could at least get on the carousel right I don't know if there's an age limit for that but then they're supposed to have like a petting zoo and like a hundred plus like food vendors like all of that so I figured this would be the perfect day to vlog so I'm gonna bring you guys along with us and then also I did film this makeup look let me show you I did since my outfit is like orange and white I decided I would do like a pop of color on the face so I did green eyeshadow and this hot pink lip I think I'm a nice peachy lip would have looked nice too but i never wear hot pink so i was like you know what i'm i'm gonna wear hot pink today and then i just did my hair like super curly let me show you and i have these cute little earrings they came in like a pack of three different colors i think three or four different colors from shein so i decided to pop those on probably skip the necklace maybe do some rings and yeah so i'm super excited so i'm gonna bring you guys along and i hope you have a good time with us are you at the fair? You are? Let me see your dress. Hi, Deuce. <laughs> you want to say cheese with mommy? Here. Here, say cheese. Look.
Hey guys, so we just got back from the fair. Um, there was a lot of people there and supposedly it was only gonna be 75% capacity and you had to buy your tickets ahead of time, all that, but it was still like really packed and oh my gosh, for it only being 80 degrees, I was like, Ugh. I literally sweat everywhere. Like I sweat so bad, like my hair like fell kind of flat. I don't know, but it's like the closer I get to like ocean too, like my hair will fall flat. I don't, it's weird because I have somewhat naturally curly hair so you think it would just, I don't know, weird. But anyway, so I found this little boutique. I was hoping they put their card in here. Let me show you. Um, it is called, Dolce Luna Boutique. They had some vendors there and they had this little, like I said, like little boutiques where you could buy things. And I've seen this shirt before off of some like, I can't think of the name of them, Thomas Runway maybe, or like Shop Buddy Love, like some kind of like more like Western-y Nashville, like stuff you would get if you're making a trip to Nashville, like that kind of stuff. I've seen this shirt on those websites for like 46 bucks and they had a deal. I don't know if it's because it was like the last day of the fair, but it was two for 50. And I got this shirt, which I think is so cute. Like I said, I've seen this on like an online boutique for like over 40 bucks and I got two for 50. So technically this was only 25. I think it's adorable, like with red flared pants or like red leather pants or pink flared pants and a hat, like, I don't know, maybe like a cowbell or something. I don't know, something like totally Nashville inspired, but it's so freaking cute. I cannot wait to wear it. And it's nice and oversized too, if I just want to wear it with like biker shorts or something. And then I got this one, you know, because like Y2K is like the big thing now. I got this baby blue oversized shirt and then it just has a little smiley face on it. So yeah, I figured I'd probably wear this with biker shorts. So yeah, it's been a long day, tired, sweaty. I need to take a shower and get comfy and stuff. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys had fun coming along with us to the Orange County Fair. And let me know if you guys have ever been and what you think, but yeah. Are you at the park? Harley, are you at the bar? Are you ready? Hard to sleep too? Okay. Night night. Hey, what'd you get today? Did you get Minnie Mouse today? And Daddy's building it? 
Are you helping? Hey, you have to be careful, okay? <gasps> Look, your chair! Do you want to sit in it? Sit. Here, sit in your chair. Mommy. Yeah, just put your butt on it. Mommy, help me. Help you? <laughs> oh, is she too short? Just a tiny bit. Just sit. So this is what I got her. It's from Walmart and it comes with this like little toy chest organizer thing, reusable stickers. Hi Hazel. And then also come, thank you. It also comes with a table and two chairs and it was only $60. I thought it was such a good deal. They also had baby shark, but we decided to get Minnie Mouse instead. Hi. Do you like your table and chair? This is our before. Our goal is to minimize and get all of this into that. So that way our living room doesn't go cluttered. Are you ready to go through your toys? Okay. Our after video, this took a while. This was definitely a team effort, all four of us. So over here, we made her a little spot for her books. And then I had this little like foam mat. So I just separated them into two squares. And then we put a rocking horse over there, her little chair she likes to sit in, and some toys. Finally got the living room back to looking somewhat back to normal, I guess is what I'm saying, before we accumulated all these toys. And then I just put all her stuffed animals in these little cubes. Hi, Hazel. Not sure if we're going to keep those there or not. And then we just kind of fixed up that. So, yeah, we're all ready to decorate for fall. I think I'm going to decorate next week. But I just feel so much better now that this living room is like picked up. Oh my gosh. How do all have a treat? Say hi. Hi. Okay, you have to sit though. You have to sit. Sit your butt. What are you doing? Hey. <laughs> oh, careful. Come here. Hey guys, so I figured I would show you what I ordered from Bath and Body Works. I just did an online order and then Frank picked it up for me because I cannot live without fall and winter scents. That's like basically the only time I go to Bath and Body Works unless I have like a gift certificate or something. But Harley and I are gonna show you what we got. Come here. You gotta sit so we can show them. Come here. So I basically just got candles and then some soaps. So the first soap we got is Perfect Pumpkin. Here. Perfect. Mm -hmm. mm. And then we got Pumpkin Apple. Perfect. <gasps> I already put one of these in the kitchen already and it smells so good. Wow. Yeah, then we got Vampire Blood, which I think I had this last year possibly. Um, we got two of them, so two vampire bloods, 
then I have to get this one because it's my favorite fall scent, the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. And I really wanted to get the lotion and body spray, but they only had the body spray, but it wasn't available for pickup, but they didn't have the lotion. So here, let me show them. So I don't know if that's gonna be coming later. Not really sure. But yes, yeah, Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin is definitely my favorite. And then I like to keep these big hand sanitizers in the car. So I got the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin hand sanitizer to leave in the car. Like I'm pretty sure right now I have like a lemon scented one in the car. Then moving on to candles. Here, sit and we'll show them the candles. Sit. Yeah, put that. For candles, I went with all the fall scents. So the first one I picked up, let's see if it'll, why isn't that focusing? There we go. The first one I got was Leaves. This is a fall staple. I didn't realize that I got like all cinnamon ones either, but here, smell. Do you like it? Open. Here, smell. Open. You don't like it? <laughs> Mommy, you had to open. Then we got Harvest Gathering. I've never had this one before. It smells pretty good. So Leaves to Ooh. me smells like those, are you okay? Mm -hmm. So leaves to me smells like, like kind of like the cinnamon. Oh. <laughs> um, so leaves to me smells like the cinnamon pine cones, you know, around like Christmas time, mm. but I really like it. It's the perfect candle yeah. for fall. And then I feel like Harvest Gathering smells like cinnamon but more of like a clean cinnamon, if that makes sense. Let's see if the notes are on here. Fresh picked apple, okay, that's what I'm smelling. Autumn berries, clove buds, yeah, that was the other thing that I could smell in here too. But it smells really good, I might continue to get this one. Hardy, do you have the other lid for this? Mm -hmm. What'd you do with the lid? Mm -hmm. Oh, here it is. Can you hand me the lid? Don't hit your head. Here, the lid. Thank you. We have two more candles. You want to do the two more candles? Uh -huh. She's taking all the soaps and lining them up on the ground. Next we have, ugh, what's that? Is that a cookie on there? Um, we have the Perfect Autumn, which I've never had this one either. So this one says fresh cranberry, spice pumpkin, crisp apple, rich clove. Smell. Want to smell? Mom. Not, not a big fan of this. Maybe it'll smell better when it's burning, but yeah, I think this one's like my least favorite. I don't know if I would re buy this one. And then it wouldn't be a fall candle haul without sweater weather. Like this is by far one of my favorites. This one and then winter are like my two favorites. God, this one just smells so good. Like if I could burn this all year round, I would. But it smells so good. And then I think it was last year they came out with the Sweater Weather like spray and body lotion. And I got the spray and the spray doesn't smell anything like the candles. So yeah, I don't know. But this one smells so good. You want to smell? Okay, come smell. You like it? It's not bad. Yep. Do you want to talk to them about the soaps? Okay, tell them. About soaps. How do we tell soaps? How do we soaps? How do we soaps? How do soaps? Yep. Mommy. Mommy. Okay, so that's everything we got for Bath and Body Works. We'll probably do another trip before too. But all the candles were on sale for 15 bucks, and I only buy them when they're on sale. So, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I haven't been getting any, like, coupons in the mail either, but... I had a 20% off coupon and then all the candles were $15 off. So we got quite a few okay. things. Do you want to tell them thank you for watching? Okay, tell them. Watching. Say thank you. Thank you. For watching. Watching. Say, blow kiss. Say, love you. I love you. <laughs> say, see you later. Can you say, see you later? I say, yeah, <laughs> Careful.